He who have an ear, let him hear. Let's get into the subject of freedom. Freedom is something that all men want. It's not a man that live on this earth that does not want freedom. But we got to think about it. What makes a man free? What are you free from? You're free from want. That's the only thing that makes you free is to be free from wanting things. Okay? So how do we get free from want? Right? We get free from want through Jesus Christ. Right? Through Jesus Christ. We can't hope to be servants under men right don't care to be a servant under men care to be a servant under Christ and be free to serve men okay when you have your free time you're going to get free time when you get your freedom under Christ but you can't use your free time To serve yourself and to serve your flesh. You use your free time to serve men. To please others. See, the thing is, man. When you're serving yourself and you're serving your flesh. And and that's all you care about is, you know, what you're going to do. And not others You're working Towards slavery And you're working towards death Okay You're serving Something that has That's vanity it Has no purpose When that's what you put all your time in It has no purpose It's not going to benefit nobody But you And your own pleasure Well, that's when you're left alone, and that's when you're working towards slavery and death. You're separating yourself. See, we need each other. We need people to be strong. We need people. We need the family of Christ in order to be strong. When we're separated and we're alone, we're weak. That's why you have to serve others and not your own flesh work towards spiritual things work towards freedom real freedom real life material things is not freedom man earning material things is not free because when you you're earning material things you have to keep working to keep them and because you can never keep them They're going to disappear. All material things are going to disappear. Nothing material is going to stay forever. So if you're working towards anything material. It's endless work. Can't be free. You know, the thing, the the big thing is, is to put away fear, right? What can you fear when you live in a spirit? What can be taken from you? Nothing can be taken from you when you live in a spirit. How can anybody punish you? Nobody can take nothing from you because you don't care about the flesh. You put off the flesh. You put off the material things. Nobody can punish you, can ground you or, you know, Take something from you because you already gave it away. Spiritually. Even though you live in the flesh. You live in a material world. When you put it away. You put away fear. You put away. Anything that any person can do to you. You put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only person that can hurt you. But when you put off the flesh. He's not going to hurt you. He gave you freedom, man. And that's freedom. So not to worry about what men want you to do. Worry about what 
God wants you to do. Right? Man, Christ, that's why Christ died. Christ suffered so, you know, to prepare you, you know, to be like him. To put off these the, the flesh. He put off the flesh. It was symbolic, right? Our Lord is a poet, man, with his own life. Crazy. Poetry with his own life. He put off the flesh to show you to put off fleshy things so that you can live forever. So that you don't have to die the exact way that he died. You know, not the exact, but you do have to die. To die from this world. Okay? You, the flesh is going to be taken away, but we hope to be a part of the elect. Why not be hopeful for that? Right? And if you're a part of the elect, then your death is going to be a little different than Christ. But no matter what, you have to put off the flesh. We all have to put off the flesh. Regardless of how you put it off, you have to put it off. And that's where your freedom comes in. Understanding why the Lord died. Understanding why he put off the flesh. Understand why he lives again without the flesh. You understand, man, everything that's happening right now is happening for those who love God. Everything is for your benefit. Nothing is happening to hurt you. Nothing is going to touch you if you follow the Lord. And if you're not afraid to suffer just a little while, just a little suffer. Be able to put off these things that separate you and, and whatever it is in you that's separating you from people. Your own lust, the thing thing that is in you that makes you feel so good, right? It makes you feel good, but at the same time, you don't feel that good because you're by yourself, right? Just, just put those things off. And it's a little suffer. It's not a big suffer, right? And serve other people. Just for a little while. And that's how you serve Christ, right? And you're doing it for Christ. You're not doing it for yourself, right? You you're, you're make sure you're serving these people for Christ. Not because you want a material thing from them. Because you want money or maybe you might want uh, sex, drugs. Who knows? You know, a lot of people serve for those type of things. But do it for a real reason because you're doing it for Christ I'm telling you that's freedom you're going to find so much freedom and so much joy it's going to suffer a little bit of course that's suffering because you believe that serving yourself is very joyful but you don't like it right so hey just bear with the suffering of Christ, man, for a little while, just a little while. Because at the end of the day, if you do just that little bit, when Christ get glorified, he's going to share his glory with you. It's going to be the best feeling that you could ever imagine. Keep that in mind. God bless. Amen.